Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the first, okay? So right around the first. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. So I'm going to say that one more time. The timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. So let's just see what comes up. I just cut the deck. Ace of Cups, Three of Swords. So Ace of Cups is about emotions. It's a flood of emotions. It's also a new start in love. Um, three of Swords is separation. So this is feelings. You know, it's, an, it's, a, it's a flood of emotions. I don't know. No, this is heartache. This is suffering. This is pain, right? The Three of Swords is pain. It's heartache. It's grief. It's suffering. It's... A painful separation but it could be happening because of self-love because this is a card of love I mean but even even if it's self-love whatever it is it's an emotional separation right it is could also be healing I mean the ace of cups could be a healing energy healing after a separation Oh, two cards just fell out. Ooh, one of our one of our regulars. Two pentacles and the nine of cups reverse. If they came out like this, now the nine of cups reverse is a lack of wish fulfillment, right? It is unhappy, wishing wishing I never got myself involved in this. You know, um, so I feel like we have somebody here that. Uh, is not happy with their current circumstances. The Two of Pentacles is about change. It's about taking that next step. We talked about it. We talked about this yesterday. Um, the Two of Pentacles is some sort of realignment. What comes around goes around. Uh, taking a step in a new direction, making a change. We have somebody here that it has been going back and forth. They've been trying to find balance. They have had a lot on their plate they've been uh adapting pretty well to this situation but it's like it's still not making them happy you know there's still a lack of wish fulfillment here even though you know there's an there's you know flexibility you know somebody has been flexible and they've been trying to adapt there's still a lack of happiness and it could be a lack of inner happiness uh, Nine of Cups reverse, definitely not happy, needing a change, wanting a change, somebody definitely wants a change. Mm. Seven of Swords reverse, now Seven of Swords reverse could be somebody that is letting go, that is finding a new approach, that is taking a new approach. They may, we may have somebody here that has been trying everything in their power. It's like coming up with strategies, coming up with plans, trying to do whatever they can to be, make something successful. But I feel like there's, uh, no success honestly seven of swords reverse there's there, there may even be somebody here that has been going back and forth with two options and uh this is somebody that i mean the seven of swords could be getting caught could be getting caught getting caught doing something deceptive could also be making an escape you know, skipping towns, uh, running away from a situation, right? We definitely have a very, I mean, the Nine of Cups reversed is somebody that is cunning, and so isn't the Seven of Swords reversed. So I wonder if we have somebody here that is a player. I mean, the two, juggling is a game. So, you know, anybody that plays a game is a player. So we may have a player here that is very deceptive, that is not very happy with their current circumstances. 
we also have somebody here that doesn't have any backbone you know this person may not have any conscience you know there's arrogance there's arrogance we definitely have a very arrogant individual here who is juggling two options they think they're getting away with it overindulging overindulging getting caught I feel like somebody's gonna get caught it's like they're gonna fall because that two of Pentacles is like teetering you know it is teetering uh, somebody could fall they could have a they could fall they this is like could be a fall arrogant extremely arrogant they've been able to handle these options you know they've been hand been able to handle both but somebody could get caught doing something. It could also be coming clean with the Seven of Swords reverse. That could be coming clean, owning up, owning up, like being like, you know, I can't, I don't want to deceive anymore. I'm not happy. I don't want to play this game anymore. I mean, this could go so many different ways. There's definitely, we got to remember that Three of Swords. And you know, the Three of Swords is grieving, it's heartache, heartache over a separation. There is some sort of love here because of the Ace of Cups, really in feelings. We have somebody here that is really in their feelings. They're feeling in pain. They're suffering, they're suffering. Somebody is in pain. Because they have to make a choice because the, the Two of Pentacles is a choice. You have to make a choice to have balance in your life, to have stability. You can't have your cake and eat it too. We do have a glutton here with the Nine of Cups. I mean, that is somebody that is you know, wants to have their cake and eat it too, but they can't have their cake and eat it too. They have to make a choice. So a choice is probably on the table here, which I'm sure that it is. Seven of Swords reverse could be owning up, coming clean, making a decision with the Two of Pentacles. We have somebody here that's definitely been going back and forth and they're really wishing that they never would have gotten themselves involved with the situation that they are involved in right now. They got into that situation because they were lying to themselves about something. Oh, six of wands reverse. Now this is losing a battle. This is a fail, a fail. It's a failure. It's a failed attempt. It's we have, and we may have somebody here that is really trying to play somebody. If they are, they're failing. They are failing because the Six of Wands is a failure. There's no success. Six of Wands in reverse. That is a setback. We have, and this is like a very smug, cocky individual that thinks that they can get away with whatever they want. Extremely smug, cocky individual. I think there's some unwelcome news. Somebody's about to lose. It's like a fall. It's like a fall. A fall from power. No success. No success. If we have somebody here that is trying to deceive another person or they're cheating or they're stealing or they're not going to be successful. They're not going to be successful. They're not going to get what they thought they were going to get. They're going to get caught. They're so busy with their plan that they don't see that. I feel like they don't see that they're being watched. Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is... Somebody that is a hard worker, very, very stable, solid, efficient. Skilled. That's in the future. We have somebody here that... That's moving slow, moving slow, but this person seems to be stopped. Somebody's gonna get stopped. They're gonna get stopped.
somebody may be, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is very loyal, you know, very much about integrity and putting in effort to build solid foundations. So I feel like we have somebody here that has been fighting some sort of war, lying to themselves, cheating themselves, maybe cheating on even another person because they're not happy or lying to another person about their happiness, even if it's not cheating. There's definitely deception here and lies with the Seven of Swords reversed. We have somebody here that's been very troubled. They've been reluctant to take a new approach. They've been going back and forth on their decision. They're extremely unhappy with their current circumstances. They've been fighting a huge inner battle, um, lying to themselves and probably maybe engaging with others because they're so unhappy. But the Knight of Pentacles is all about acting with integrity and putting in the effort and doing the right thing. Right? To have something solid. Uh, I mean, this Knight of Pentacles has a golden opportunity. Has something in their hands. Has something of value. Making an offer. Somebody is going to be making somebody a solid offer. Giving somebody a solid opportunity. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that is steadfast, that is hardworking, that is stable, that doesn't quit. But that Six of Wands reverse right, is a loss. It's a disgrace. It is a... It is a it's somebody that has no staying power that runs away when the going gets tough, you know, and looks for admiration and support from others instead of owning up to their own unhappiness you know I'm gonna go I'm gonna soak because I see all these people this person is likes the public recognition and gets recognition from other people when the going gets tough instead of acting with integrity interesting Now, I just fell over like that. I don't know what it is yet, but I just wanted to show you. But the Knight of Pentacles is all about acting responsible, doing the responsible thing, doing the right thing. So I do believe we have somebody here that is going to be doing something that is very practical. You know, they're going to be doing something to that will bring them stability and success. They've definitely been in a situation where there's been deception there's been lies there's been unhappiness there's been no victory there's been a lot of fighting there's been a lot of competition there's been a lot of secret admirers too should we look and see what's on that card Ooh, the six of pentacles six of pentacles is about give and take it's about getting what you deserve it's about a gift it's a gift yeah, judgment and reversed on the bottom. That's a poor judgment call. Anyhow, this is about a gift. This is about give and take. It's about deserving. Somebody is receiving a gift. Or they have received a gift. We definitely have a struggle here. Somebody has been struggling. But the Six of Pentacles is a gift. It's the gift of balance. It's a, it's a generous offer. Somebody is, is or has or is receiving a very generous offer with this Six of Pentacles.
again, what goes around comes around. Something about what goes around comes around. Somebody's going to have a loss here as well. Because this is like taking from one and giving to another. Somebody may be also receiving a loan. And I know that's another whole story. Somebody may be, they may have uh, been struggling financially and they're going to get a loan that is going to get them out of this trouble. Just saying. Um, but the Six of Wands reversed is no victory. It's a, it's a fail. So I don't know what that is. A failed attempt. A failed attempt. May have failed in the past. Now you're going to receive... Somebody failed in the past because they were playing games. They were juggling. They couldn't make a choice. They were trying to do too much. Now they're going to be receiving. Maybe they were dealing with a player. But now there's a solid, solid, stable, real offer. I mean, this is real. Receiving, receiving. Now, like, this could even be a payout. Somebody is going to be receiving something that that they really like. Okay, this is something of monetary value. It's something that it could even be from a bank. Okay, whatever this is, this is a this is a gift. Somebody is going to be receiving something that is financially pleasing. Put it that way, or it's a it's a. It's a gift. If it's not money per se, it's absolutely a gift with that Knight of Pentacles and the Six, pen Six of Pentacles. And this is a lack of awareness. So somebody may be unaware that they are about to receive some sort of gift. Could be, could be help, okay, even with the Six of Pentacles. Somebody's going to be receiving or they have received an offer. This is like help. It's help. It's help arriving. Six of Wands reversed though. That's that's a problem. That is that's killing me here. That is definitely a problem. The six of six of wands reversed is like no victory. It's fail. It's a, somebody that lacks confidence. That is very smug and cocky. This person is losing. Oh, they're losing. They're losing. So there's a competition here. The cheater. Cheat, cheat, never beat. Cheat, cheat, never beat. Oh my goodness gracious. Cheat, cheat, never beat. Somebody's losing. We have a cheater that is losing. They're losing. They're losing. They're losing to the competition. This is somebody that has been pulling the wool over somebody's eyes. They're getting caught. Somebody may be taking their business someplace else where there's more loyalty, where it's more real. Somebody could be getting caught in lies. They could be getting caught, could getting caught in a lie. They could get caught cheating. Mm. Ace or Page of Wands. I saw the Ace of Wands. That's what I. That's the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands hands. So this is an offer or an invite. It's exciting. It's a it's a it's a message. Somebody's going to be getting a message from somebody that is very exciting. It leads them in a new direction. This is this is definitely good news. It is very good news. There's good news arriving. It's like a new discovery. This is like a new discovery, a new direction. Somebody is going to be going in a new direction. Where they've been, there's been no victory. It's been a fail. It's been, there's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of competition. There's been lies. There's been deception. There may have even been some illegal activities. We have somebody here that has been dishonest. They've been acting without a conscience. But I feel like now they're finding a new approach. They're acting in a responsible manner and going in a new direction. And because they do that, there's help arriving.
Ooh. The tower. So the tower is a fated event. This is a major dismantling. It's a dismantling of a false foundation. Get ready for a surprise. Expect the unexpected. There is some sort of truth. There is some sort of truth that's going to be revealed. I know that there is. This is light being shed. It's light being shed on lies because what's the opposite of false? Well, not what is the opposite. What is lies? Lies is not the opposite. It's false. Lies are false. And there's lies here. Falseness is going to be revealed. I do that a lot. Words don't always come out right. And that could be what does it. The words don't come out right and it reveals the truth. That's probably what it is. <clears throat> we have a loser here. <laughs> we definitely have a loser here that thinks that they have gotten away with some sort of deception. They're about to get caught. Everything's going to be exposed. This is exposure. It is. Interesting. And the tower is a shock. It is a surprise. Somebody may be receiving a surprising offer as well. It's a com whatever this is, it's a uh, expect the unexpected because something crazy is going to happen that you totally don't expect. We definitely have somebody here that has been going back and forth with a decision, with a choice. This person is really not happy with where they have been. They may be choosing to do the right thing and act with integrity and make some sort of approach. Page of Wands is, is an offer or an invite going in a new direction. A new suitor. We may even have a brand new suitor here that is bursting into somebody's world or already has. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have an individual that is super safe, that is super solid, that is super secure that may have a new suitor here that is very exciting, that is very adventurous. These two people may be coming together to bring balance to each other's lives. This, this is definitely, you know, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and we have these two other people. There's balance here. This is definitely a rebalancing. I also feel like somebody's manifestations are starting to come to fruition. They're starting to grow because the, the Knight of Pentacles is about manifestation. It really is. And the Page of Wands is growth. So somebody's manifestations are growing. Okay, this is a time of growth. They're about to receive something that, you know, is very exciting. Yes. Okay, yes, you're about to receive because the Six of Pentacles is right with these cards. It goes the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. Somebody is about to receive an exciting offer that it leads to stability because the Knight of Pentacles is stability. It is, it is stability. It's also exciting. Somebody's about to receive an offer that is exciting. And it le and the Page of Wands, a new direction. So this is going in a completely new direction. And there's a need to be spontaneous 
and take a risk and don't let fear and don't don't stick your heels in the mud do it just do it just go for it because this can bring you i mean the knight of pentacles leads to the king of pentacles okay if you put in the effort and you put in the work you will be prosperous there's definitely some good news arriving Yes, there is. Oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. Those are both yes cards. This is a golden opportunity. This is a gift. This is a windfall. It's an inheritance. It's a new investment. It's a new business. It's a new job. It's a loan. It's money in the bank, okay? This is a... Uh, golden opportunity for success okay so this is yes taking action will lead to long-term success somebody is definitely receiving a gift there is no doubt about it this is a gift that leads somebody in a new direction I mean the magician is uh, something you asked for and this is too it's both these are both manifestations I said that before you saw me shuffle happens all the time Somebody has manifested. I said it way before. This is these. Anybody that reads tarot knows that both of these cards are the biggest manifestation cards in the deck. So somebody has manifested something real, solid, stable, secure, long term. Yes, this is what you asked for. Take it. But you you got to be willing to shed the old because the magician is willing to shed the old to bring in the new and that two of pentacles is you can't have both. You can't play games. You got to be ready to put in the effort and focus on one. Page of Wands is about you need to focus. You need to focus. Same with the Knight of Pentacles. If you want something solid and stable, you have to put in effort. You have to work for it. You can't lose your focus and be a player. You want to play games for the rest of your life? Or do you want prosperity? What's it going to be? Somebody's been cheating themselves of abundance. Nine of Cups reversed, Seven of Swords reversed. Nine of Cups is abundance in the upright. You're going to cheat yourself a butt from abundance because you want to play? You want to play all day? You have to be willing. You need to find your willingness. Your willingness to do whatever it takes to be successful. We have somebody here that is determined to be successful. They have the skills to be successful. All the resources are in the palm of your hand. But you must use them and take action. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to take action. They are about to receive an opportunity that of a lifetime. These are both golden opportunities. An opportunity that leads to long-term abundance. Yes, this is what you asked for. This is going to bring you towards success. You're going to be, somebody is receiving an offer that is it's very exciting could be from a Gemini uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius Taurus Virgo Capricorn good luck Take the offer.